Dear students, welcome to the problem solving session on complementary functions. In this session, we are going to learn how to find CF for a given linear second order differential equation. Let us go into the problem. Just a quick recap. If suppose we take two roots m1 and m2 for the axillary equation, if the roots are real and distinct, then a e power m1x plus b e power m2x is the CF. If the roots are real and equal, then the CF is going to be ax plus b e power mx. Since the roots are equal, we will consider m1 equal to m2 equal to m. If the roots are complex, then I am going to write e power alpha x a cos beta x plus b sin beta x, where alpha and beta are the real and imaginary parts of the complex number. We can see this here. So, let us go into the problem. Find the CF alone. So, when they say find CF alone, then we don't want to worry about the right hand side. To find the complementary function, we have to make the equation homogeneous. That is, my right hand side should be 0. Now, we write the axillary equation by putting d equal to m. When you put d equal to m, the equation will become m square minus 5m plus 6 equal to 0. Remember students, use your calculator to find the root. Unless otherwise, it is a complex root, calculator will give the exact answer. And you know how to find the roots for a quadratic equation or a cubic equation using your calculator. If you don't know, go to the unit 1, watch the calculator trick how to find the roots for the given equation. Okay. Now, this is easy. I can see it as m minus 3 into m minus 2 equal to 0. Therefore, my roots are 2 and 3. The roots are real and distinct. They are not the same. So, I can write my complementary function as a e power 2x, b e power 3x. And now, some students may get the answer like this. Suppose, they are writing like 3 comma 2. Then, the CF would be a e power 3x plus b e power 2x. Both are correct. So, either you can take the roots as 2, 3 or 3, 2. This is equivalent to a e power 3x plus b e power 2x. Both are correct. Next problem. Find the CF. When they say CF immediately, I don't want to worry about my right hand side. So, make the equation homogeneous by making RHS 0. So, d square plus 2d plus 1 into y. The axillary equation can be found by putting d equal to m. m square plus 2m plus 1 equal to 0. I can easily found the roots are m plus 1 whole square. So, m equal to minus 1 comma minus 1. See here the roots are real but they are equal. They are same. Since my roots m1 and m2 or same, that is minus 1, my complementary function is going to be like ax plus b e power mx. Here, m1, m2, m all are equal. They simply minus 1. So, it is going to be minus x. Therefore, my cf is ax plus b into e power minus x. Next, when you see the cubic equation, don't get panic. Just you can solve. As usual, write the homogeneous equation. It is already homogeneous because right hand side is 0. I can find CF by putting D equal to M. I can get the auxiliary equation. M cube plus 3M square plus 3M plus 1 in equal to 0. This is nothing but M plus 1 whole cube equal to 0. So, you should not simply write M equal to minus 1. What is the meaning of this? M plus 1 whole cube equal to 0 means M plus 1 into M plus 1 into m plus 1 equal to 0. Therefore, it has 3 roots. Minus 1, minus 1, minus 1. All the 3 roots are same. So, I can write this as ax square plus bx plus c e power minus x. This is my complementary function. Next, d square plus 2d plus 5 into y. Right hand side automatically will become 0 because they are asking cf alone. So, the axillary equation is going to be m square plus 2m plus 5 equal to 0 by putting d equal to m in the given problem. Now, we can see it is obvious. We cannot find the roots directly. They are not integers. It has complex root. So, we remember in our school days how to find the complex root. We use the very famous formula minus b plus r minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. And the given equation we have to consider like am square bm plus c equal to 
zero. Now substituting the value of a, b, c, we can able to find the roots. Simplifying this, we'll be getting m is equal to minus one plus or minus two y. This is going to be the complex root. So my CF is going to be e power minus x a cos two x plus b sine two x. This is the complementary function for the given problem. Next problem is little interesting. We have d cube minus one. In the previous problem, we have d minus one whole cube or d plus one whole cube. Here, d cube minus one into y is equal to zero because I am going to find CF. I'll consider the homogeneous equation. Now, put d equal to m. Then m cube minus one is equal to zero. We know that the result a cube minus b cube. Do you remember, guys? It is nothing but a minus b into a square plus a b plus b square. Now put d equal to m first. We'll be getting m cube minus one equal to zero. Now m cube minus one can be written as m minus one m square plus m plus one. Therefore, I can easily solve this problem. The roots are going to be m equal to one is one root. This is a complex root. When we solve, we'll be getting minus one by two plus or minus i root three by two. And the other root is one. That is the first root we found. So these three roots, I can easily write the complementary function. I can take anything first. I'll take this complex root first. Therefore, my CF is going to be e power minus one by two x. Then a cos root three by two x plus b sine root three by two x. This is going to be my complementary function plus the one. The next constant c into e power x. Finally, we have a different problem. You see, level by level. First problem is d square. Second problem is d something square. Third problem is d with square. Fourth problem is d cube minus one. Now we are going for d power four minus one into y equal to zero. Now, first write the complementary function. When you put d equal to m, <coughs> it becomes m power four minus one equal to zero. Many students will do the mistake here. Like if you get m cube minus one equal to zero, you write m cube equal to one. M is equal to one one one. This is wrong. Similarly, m power four minus one equal to zero. So m power four equal to one. You should not write like this. Now, how to solve this problem? We utilize a simple trick. M power four. I will write m square whole square one. I can write one square. Now a square minus b square formula we can apply. It is a minus b a plus b. Now m square minus one equal to zero. M square plus one equal to zero. From this I'll be getting m square equal to one. M square equal to minus one. Two different types of data. Now m equal to plus or minus one. Here we see. M equal to plus or minus i. The roots are one minus one i minus i. Now you can write anything first. You can see the type two version. The roots are one minus one i minus i. Therefore, my complementary function CF is going to be a e power x plus b e power minus x. The next two roots are complex numbers. I can see this as zero plus or minus i. So e power zero x is going to be one. The next constant c into here the coefficient of i is one. So c cos x plus d into sin x. Either you can write like this, or suppose you want to write the complex number first. That is also correct. You can write a cos x plus b sin x, then plus c into e power x plus d into e power minus x. Both answers are correct. Hope you get a good confidence to face the problems in exams. You can easily find the CF. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel and share to your friends. See you in the next video. Bye bye.